Hello, my name is Dr. Kay Sweetser from the University of Georgia, and today, as we talk about experiments in my graduate research methods class, I'm taking my students over to Dr. Janet Frick's Infant Research Lab over in the Psychology Building. Being as interested in fashion and wearing the appropriate thing to such an event, I am wearing my lab coat today in honor of our field trip. Hello everybody, I'm very glad to be bringing you into the UGA Infant Research Lab today. My name is Dr. Janet Frick and uh, I am the Infant Developmental Specialist at, uh, the, at UGA in the Psychology Department. We have a Developmental Psychology Program. Developmental Psychology studies people womb to tomb, as we like to say. So I cover the early part of the lifespan and we have people who study uh, childhood cognition, behavior issues in adolescence, and all the way up to uh, aging and adulthood in caregiver like relationships like later in the lifespan. So like we are a truly developmental like program and my research yeah. area is about uh, so infant yeah, visual true. attention and learning. So um, here in the psychology department we have six PhD programs, um, clinical, social, neuroscience, um, developmental, cognitive and applied, which is industrial, organizational, or sort of, you know, psychology of the business world. So developmental psychology is a little bit unique. Hey, come on in. Um, in that, you know, all of the other uh, areas of psychology are uh, sort of content related, you know, like cognitive psychology, they study you know, memory and learning and thinking. Um, clinical psychology studies behavior disorders. But developmental is not so much about a content area as it is an approach. Um, developmental psychology is not the same as child psychology because we have, uh, and, and we're a true lifespan developmental program here in that we uh, have people who study aging. Um, uh, one one uh, of our professors has a big grant to study caregiver relationships in later life when one of the partners has Alzheimer's and how the uh, the social um, effects of, of that you know that relationship and, and the stress on the caregiver. So so we, as I was saying earlier, we, we like to say that we're a womb to tomb department. And so I cover <laughs> the um, the early part of the of the lifespan. But in our laboratory setup. We have, you know, we're doing studies of visual attention, and I'll, I'll show you guys back here in the back. Um, we have a, um, a screen where the babies see pictures, and we have them sit in front of the screen, and then we have cameras that record the baby's face, and then we go back and code those videotapes, we score those videotapes to, to look at eye movements and speed of eye movements. So we have the, um, the, a, a picture, a target that the baby looks at, and then either a target, a, a peripheral target comes up to the side while the middle target stays on, or the middle target goes away and the peripheral target comes up. The difference, and what we were looking at, and I'm gonna actually show this to you, is how long did it take the baby's eyes to move from the center to the side? We do, we have two cameras, one on the baby and one like a picture-in-picture picture thing that shows the screen of what the baby's actually seeing. And so you can